Do we truly shape our own destinies? Or is our lives just a series of random events? This question has puzzled humanity for millennia. Each of us has experienced moments that make us wonder whether life is guided by our choices or a higher, uncontrollable power. Consider the unexpected meeting with a stranger that changes your life forever, or the dream job that came after a serendipitous event. Are these experiences purely coincidental, or do they signal something greater at work? Since the dawn of human consciousness, the concepts of destiny and chance have been the subject of endless debate. From ancient philosophical discussions to modern scientific inquiries, people have sought to understand whether we are masters of our own fate or passengers on a predestined journey. The ancient Greeks believed in the fates, three deities who controlled the destinies of all beings. In contrast, existentialist philosophers argue that humans have absolute freedom to shape their lives, even in an indifferent universe. The Bible, a sacred text for millions, also addresses this question in complex ways. Scripture suggests that God has a plan for every life, yet they simultaneously emphasize the importance of human choice. This paradox has kept theologians and believers pondering, how much of our lives is dictated by divine orchestration, and how much can we influence through our decisions? For instance, Proverbs 16 verse 9 states, A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Here, the verse acknowledges human intent and planning, but suggests that God ultimately guides our path. This raises intriguing questions. Are our choices significant, or do they serve a divine narrative beyond our comprehension? The problem of free will versus determinism is not just a theoretical exercise. It has practical implications that shape how we live our lives. At the center of this dilemma is a simple but profound question. Are our successes and failures a result of our efforts, or are they predetermined? The Bible provides narratives that complicate the picture. Take the story of Joseph, a young man with big dreams. His life seemed to spiral out of control due to events that appeared purely coincidental. His brothers, fueled by jealousy, sold him into slavery. Genesis 37 verse 28. In Egypt, he faced false accusations and imprisonment, yet eventually rose to become a powerful leader who saved Egypt and his family from famine. Reflecting on his journey, Joseph declared, But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good. Genesis 50 verse 20. This story illustrates how what seems random, or even tragic, can be part of a divine plan. Similarly, the book of Esther offers a narrative that balances fate and free will. Esther, a Jewish girl who became the queen of Persia, was in a position to save her people from annihilation. Her uncle Mordecai told her, Who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Esther 4 verse 14. Esther had to make a choice to risk her life by approaching the king. Her courage led to the deliverance of her people, suggesting that while her position seemed divinely arranged, it was her decision that made a difference. Yet, the Bible also emphasizes free will and personal responsibility. In Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, Moses urges the Israelites, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. This verse emphasizes the power of choice and suggests that our decisions have real consequences, not only for us, but for future generations. Philosophically, the tension between free will and determinism has led to rich debates. Determinists argue that everything, from the laws of physics to human behavior, is governed by cause and effect. According to this view, even our thoughts and actions are the result of prior events and influences. However, proponents of free will, like existentialist thinkers such as Jean-Paul Sartre, argue that humans have the freedom to define their essence through actions, even in the face of an unpredictable world. Psychologically, studies have shown that our belief in free will or determinism can affect our behavior. Research conducted by psychologists Kathleen Voss and Jonathan Schooler revealed that when people were primed to believe in determinism, they were more likely to engage in dishonest behavior. This suggests that our beliefs about free will can shape our actions, impacting how we interact with the world. The role of chance in our lives cannot be ignored. Random events, like natural disasters or economic crises, can derail even the best laid plans. 
On a personal level, meeting someone at a particular time and place can lead to a life-altering relationship or opportunity. Malcolm Gladwell's book Outliers highlights how success often depends on chance factors, such as being born in the right place at the right time or having access to opportunities others lack. This idea challenges the notion that hard work alone. To further explore these concepts, let's explore how different cultures and belief systems understand destiny. In Hinduism, the concept of karma suggests that our actions and past lives influence our current existence. This belief in the continuity of actions across lifetimes introduces a blend of free will and predetermined outcomes. Similarly, in Islam, the concept of Qadar, divine decree, coexists with human free will. Muslims are taught that while God knows and wills everything that happens, humans are still responsible for their actions. In Christianity, Romans 8 verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. This verse has comforted believers facing hardships, suggesting that even painful or random events are woven into a divine plan for good. Yet, Christians are also called to live intentionally, making choices that align with God's will, determines our fate. Philosophers like Thomas Aquinas have attempted to reconcile God's foreknowledge with human free will. Aquinas argued that God's knowledge of future events doesn't negate human freedom. Rather, God sees our actions in an eternal now, beyond the constraints of time. This theological perspective allows for the coexistence of divine omniscience and human agency. Psychological theories also offer insight into how we perceive control over our lives. Julian Rotter's concept of the locus of control describes whether individuals attribute outcomes to their own efforts, internal locus, or to external factors, external locus. People with an internal locus of control tend to believe they shape their destinies through hard work and decisions, while those with an external locus often feel powerless, attributing events to fate, luck, or other forces. Research shows that having an internal locus of control is linked to higher achievement and well-being, but recognizing the role of chance can also help us cope with life's uncertainties. Real-life events provide powerful examples of how destiny and chance intertwine. Consider the story of Helen Keller, who lost her sight and hearing at 19 months old due to an illness. Her future seemed grim, yet through her perseverance and the chance meeting with her teacher and Sullivan, she learned to communicate and became a renowned author and activist. This remarkable outcome was a mix of determination, opportunity, and perhaps destiny. Another compelling story is that of Rosa Parks, whose seemingly small act of defiance on a Montgomery bus sparked the civil rights movement. Was it chance that she boarded that particular bus, or was it destiny? Her choice to remain seated, despite immense pressure, changed history. This suggests that even within a framework of chance, our decisions have the power to shape events in meaningful ways. From a scientific perspective, the concept of the butterfly effect in chaos theory illustrates how minor changes can have profound consequences. This idea, popularized by mathematician Edward Lorenz, describes how the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil could set off a tornado in Texas. Such insights remind us that even seemingly random occurrences can ripple through the universe in ways we cannot predict. Yet, the question remains, how much control do we have over our lives? The success stories of entrepreneurs like Oprah Winfrey and Elon Musk highlight the power of perseverance and vision. Oprah overcame a traumatic childhood to become one of the most influential media moguls, while Musk has revolutionized multiple industries. Yet, both acknowledge the role of luck and timing in their journeys. Moreover, research on the self-fulfilling prophecy phenomenon reveals that our beliefs can influence our reality. If we believe we are destined to succeed, we are more likely to take risks and persevere. Conversely, if we believe that failure is inevitable, we may subconsciously sabotage our efforts. This interplay between belief, behavior, and outcome adds another layer of complexity to the destiny versus chance debate. A pivotal moment in our understanding of destiny and free will comes from examining the case of Abraham in the Bible. God promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, despite his wife Sarah's old age. Yet, Abraham and Sarah's decision to use Hagar, Sarah's maid, 
To bear a child shows human intervention in God's promise. The birth of Ishmael complicated their family dynamics and had lasting consequences for generations. This story demonstrates how human actions, even when driven by impatience or doubt, play a role in the unfolding of divine plans. Another striking biblical example is Jonah. God commanded Jonah to go to Nineveh and warn the people of impending judgment. But Jonah fled in the opposite direction, boarding a ship to Tarshish. His attempt to escape God's calling led to a storm, and he was eventually swallowed by a great fish. Inside the belly of the fish, Jonah repented, and God gave him a second chance to fulfill his mission. This story illustrates that while Jonah exercised his free will in choosing to flee, God's purpose still prevailed. Yet, the narrative also emphasizes Jonah's agency. His ultimate decision to obey God played a crucial role in Nineveh's fate. These biblical accounts highlight a complex dynamic. God's overarching plan does not negate human responsibility and choice. They suggest that destiny and free will are intertwined, and our actions contribute to the greater narrative. Turning to modern times, consider Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple. Jobs often credited much of his success to the seemingly random events in his life, like dropping out of college and attending a calligraphy class that later inspired the elegant typefaces used in Apple products. He famously said in his Stanford commencement speech, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. Job's story embodies the dance between choice, perseverance, and serendipity. Similarly, the scientific realm offers insights into this debate. Quantum mechanics, for instance, reveals a universe full of probabilities rather than certainties. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that the exact position and momentum of a particle cannot be known simultaneously, adds an element of unpredictability to our understanding of reality. This quantum unpredictability suggests that the universe may be far more flexible than we perceive, leaving room for both determinism and chance. In the end, the mystery of whether we control our destiny or whether life is ruled by chance may never be fully resolved. The Bible presents a vision of a world where divine will and human action coexist, and our own experiences reflect a delicate balance between the two. Philosophers, psychologists, and scientists all contribute unique perspectives, yet they all seem to agree on one thing. Our choices matter, and so does the world around us. Perhaps the best approach is to live with intentionality and faith, making the best decisions we can while staying open to life's surprises. As Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, KJV, encourages, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. What do you think? Are we captains of our own fate, or are we simply riding the waves of destiny? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video got you thinking, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe for more content that challenges how you see the world.